what's up coupon cousins welcome back to the channel y'all so we're in dollar general today and we are going to learn how to coupon at dollar general i'm going to answer all those unanswered questions that i get in the comment section here on youtube facebook and also instagram so i'm gonna give all my new coupon cousins and for those who have questions about dollar general a one-on-one -on -one tutorial in store today but before we get started do me a couple two three things don't forget to like share subscribe and comment in the comment section below let's go ahead and get into this video okay so the first thing that you need to do if you've never couponed at dollar general before you need to create a dollar general account you're gonna need a verifiable phone number and you're also going to need an email address how you go about setting up your dollar general account is number one you can go through the web browser on Dollar General, www.dollargeneral.com, or you can go in and do it on your phone by downloading the Dollar General app. Now, of course, you're going to fill out all the required information, but you have to make sure you have a verifiable phone number. And what I mean by that is Dollar General is going to text you a code to verify your phone number. Now, if you say cousin, I want to create a second account you can just go back through and follow those same exact steps and make sure that you have a verifiable phone number okay y'all let's jump off into this dollar general coupon policy real quick so I wanted to touch on this in regards to using paper coupons or either internet printables okay y'all so right here it has this little clause that Dollar General does uh, accept five like coupons per transaction per day if the coupon does not have a limit. So this is what the policy actually states. But also, your store manager can limit the amount of coupons that they will allow you to use. Example, you may go in with four Thai coupons and they tell you you can only use one. Or on the flip side of that, you may go in with four Thai coupons and they allow you to use four Thai coupons. So I did not want you to be surprised when going into the store and you're using paper coupons or internet printables. Now, of course, on your own free time, you can go and read the complete Dollar General policy, you know, about overages and all that good little stuff. I just wanted to point out um, that particular area in the policy. So, y'all, Dollar General adds new digital coupons on Sundays, okay, y'all? Now, also make sure that you are checking your accounts during the week as well because they do drop us out some digital coupons during the week. Now, when you are checking for your digital coupon, just the tip now, go ahead and use the website versus the app on your phone. And the reason why you want to do this is because the app doesn't always show you everything um, and you can get all your savings and you won't miss out on nothing. You also want to make sure that when you're in Dollar General and you're using your digital coupons, you want to scan them on the Dollar General app. And here's an example of what I'm talking about. Because sometimes the items don't attach to the digital coupon, even if it's the right item, or sometimes the coupon attaches to the wrong item. But we don't have no control over what coupon, digital coupon should I say, attaches to an item that is completely controlled by Dollar General. Also, if a digital coupon doesn't come off in a transaction, guess what y'all? The cashiers and the managers, they absolutely have no control over that. And nine times out of ten, they're not going to manually enter in that coupon for you. So either you just have to void your transaction and leave it as that. So keep in mind that digital coupons are a one-time use. Let me give you an example. You like Tide Pies, right? Well, we have a digital coupon available on the Dollar General app, which is a $2 off one. So once you go to the register and use this coupon, you can't go back and use it no more. So that may be a good reason for you to create a second account up under your husband's name, baby daddy name, somebody else's name that you trust, and you can let them know that, hey, listen, I'm creating a Dollar General account. And I'm going to use your phone number and send me the code so you can get your savings. That way you can have 
two bags of Tide Pods instead of just one. Sometimes Dollar General will give you two of the same coupon, but they will have different values. So here's an example of what I'm talking about. You have an Olive Olay coupon that is a $1 off one, and then you have another Olive Olay coupon which is a $1.50 off of one. So be careful when you're clipping your digital coupons on the account. And keep this in mind, if you want to only use the $1.50 off of one coupon, then just clip that one because if you don't and you clip the one dollar off one coupon when you make it to the register the lower value coupon is going to come off first all right so let's talk about stacking coupons and also store coupons so dollar general offers the famous five off of 25 they offer it in two forms the first form is paper which comes at the bottom of your receipt and then the second form is digital which is located on the dollar general app okay y'all so listen can you use both you absolutely can but you can only use them on saturdays only okay and you can have the opportunity to do two separate transactions one with the paper five off of 25 and then one with the digital five off of 25 now your subtotal needs to be 25 on Saturdays when using your five off of 25 that way the coupon can be applied and then all other coupons that you use will go towards your purchase as well Dollar General also offers other store coupons as well and how you can identify that it is a store coupon is by this black and yellow logo right here and it says store coupon now with the store coupons y'all you can use internet printable other digital coupons as well as insert coupons to stack along with the store coupon to maximize on your savings so later in the video, I'm going to show you guys in-store transactions on how to be able to stack your store coupons right along with the other manufacturer coupons. Now we're going to talk about what coupons do not stack together at Dollar General. Okay, so here is the first example. Both of these are manufacturer coupons. And you can see because I put the circle around it so that way we can identify it. You cannot stack two manufacturer coupons together, whether it's an insert coupon or a digital coupon. You can't do it. So let me show you guys another example so that way you'll have a better understanding as well. All right, y'all, let's look at example number two. We have an internet printable and also a digital coupon. Yes, both of these are for the same item. They are for the same value, but an internet printable is still a manufacturer's coupon. So you cannot stack it with that digital coupon. Just keep in mind, the only time that you can stack coupons at Dollar General is if it is a store coupon. Okay, y'all, so let's talk about the difference between instant savings versus digital savings. Instant savings is applied automatically at the register after the spend threshold is met, okay? Then you got your digital savings, which are digital coupons that are available on the Dollar General app, and you got to clip the coupon in order for you to get the savings and then when you get to the register you got to enter in your phone number you got to say do, do 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 at the register in order for those savings to be applied so now what i'm going to do is show you guys a few in-store transactions with instant savings and also using the digital savings and if you notice with the digital savings y'all it also is a dollar general store coupon as well so let's go ahead and look at these examples so here is an example of instant savings at dollar general this particular instant savings has been going on for a while with the scott viva cottonelle and also the kleenex where you spend 15 dollars save three dollars instantly now this particular instant savings is tagged in the store but in the event that it is not tagged in the store you can always scan an item on the dollar general app like this right here 
to confirm if the instant savings is attaching to an item that you want to purchase. Dollar General also puts the instant savings in their ads as well. Okay, so my cashier is scanning my tissue and I am gonna be pairing my instant savings with the 75 cents off of one internet printable, which is located on the Scott's website if you want to go and print it off. Now, as you can see, my cashier has already hit total. And where you see store discount, store discount, store discount, that means my instant savings has already applied. So there you go, you see it right there. So my total right now is $12.99. But I am going to use my internet printables. I'm using three of those because there is one coupon per item, y'all. So she's going to scan my 75 cents off of one internet printables and then we're gonna look and see what my total is all right coupon cousin so she's entered in all of my internet printables and as you can see the store discount reapplies and my new total y'all is sorry that's a little blurry on the camera but it is nine dollars and 75 cents with my subtotal and then ten dollars and 55 cents after tax so i had a total of five dollars and 25 cents in savings and that is how instant savings and pairing it with coupons work at dollar general on to the next one okay so here's our example of digital savings and also using a store coupon and pairing it with the insert coupon so we're going to pick up two of the dove men they're priced at four dollars and fifty cents then we have our digital coupon where you spend six save two dollars and then we're going to pair it with this insert coupon right here y'all which is four dollars off of two so let's get to the register so we can see how this works out so we're at the register and my cashier, she is scanning both of the Dove men for me. So what you're gonna need to do is come over here and go to the register, hit this gray button right here, enter in your phone number, and that digital coupon is going to come off of your total where it's been $6, save $2. And if you guys notice, I did pair it with that insert coupon that I had, which is $4 off of two. So now y'all, we're gonna take a look at our receipt and see how much money we paid out of pocket. Okay, y'all, so here is our receipt. So we paid $3 out of pocket for two of the Dove Men, which is awesome. So I use the insert coupon, which is $4 off of two. And I also use the digital coupon, which is a store coupon, which is spend $6, save $2. So I had a total of $6 in savings. Now keep in mind that these deals are active right now as of September the 17th, 2020. If you want to go in the store as well and try these deals for yourself. Okay, so let's talk about this. Can I use my instant savings and digital savings with my five off of 25? The answer is you absolutely can. So I have an example here that we're gonna walk through together. So get your pen, your paper, and your calculators. And we're gonna talk about instant savings and five off of 25s first, y'all. We're gonna start out with the Scott's deal since that is the most current instant savings deal that we have going on so you go and you pick you up three scott's tissue okay the instant savings is spend fifteen dollars save three dollars right now we have fifteen dollars so we've met that threshold then we're going to pick us up some of the head and shoulders these are the trial size so go to the trial size section they are two dollars each next we're going to pick us up some febreze the febreze are three dollars each in dollar general we're gonna add six dollars to our total right now you say cousin i'm already at 25 dollars, and i done met both thresholds no you have not and i'm gonna tell you why you have not because if you were to enter in your phone number and use that digital five off of 25 and then the cashier hit total it's not gonna go through the only thing that's going to come off is your instant savings so what we have to do and how Dollar General system is set up is we have to go $3 over the $25 in order for us to be able to meet both thresholds, okay? So then we're gonna pick us up some Tide Pies, a $2.95, y'all. 
Then after we get us some Thai pies, we're going to get us some of these little fruit snacks right here. They are 34 cents each. They're usually located by the register. So now you've met your threshold and you're at $28.68. So now when the cashier hits total, your instant savings is going to come out. You're going to put in your phone number. Do, 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 do. Your five off of 25 digital coupon is going to come out. And then, of course, the remaining of your other digital coupons that you have clipped are going to come off as well then you're going to give the cashier your internet printables which is a 75 cents off of one and then after you do that y'all your total is going to be nine dollars and 13 cents so that is how you use your instant savings and your five off of 25. So you would follow these same foundational steps if Dollar General was to have another um, type of instant savings in the store. You want to build your transactions up so that you know both your instant savings and your five off of 25 is going to come off along with your other coupons as well. Okay, so one question that I'm always asked is, does Dollar General allow overage and the answer to that is yes but dollar general does not give you any money back if you have any overages you can apply that towards your basket and bring your out of pocket down okay y'all so yes they offer overage and no they're not giving you no money back okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you a couple of examples so we have these fruit snacks right here. We have a digital coupon that is on the Dollar General app, which is a dollar off of any two. Well, these little babies right here are 34 cents each. So I'm gonna show you an example of how I'm going to apply this overage towards my total basket. Okay, y'all? Okay, y'all, so here's our first transaction that we are going to do at the register. So remember when I told you that these fruit snacks right here are giving overage? I'm going to show you how the overage is going to be applied towards the basket. Now, keep in mind that the Tide Pies are $2.95, and we have a digital coupon that's available, which is a $2 off of one. And then we're going to use the digital coupon, which is a $1 off of one. So all of these deals are valid as of September the 17th, y'all, that's my cash here till hey, <laughs> of 2020. Okay, y'all, let's get into this transaction. All right, so let's break down this transaction. Our Tide Pods is $2.95. We use the digital coupon, $2 off of one. Our fruit snacks is 34 cents each, and the coupon we use was digital, which is a dollar off of two. So from the fruit snacks, y'all, we receive 32 cents in overage to apply towards our total basket because roughly we would have paid about 98 cents if we had not had that overage from the fruit snacks. So we're going to go ahead and look at our receipt because we only paid 63 cents out of pocket because we did have that overage overage and just keep in mind what is overage overage is when the coupon value is more than the item that you are purchasing also keep in mind that dollar general does not give back any money that if you have overages it will be applied towards your total balance so that is how overages work at dollar general filler items this is a term that you're going to see and here very often when referencing to Dollar General when using the five off of 25s and you'll also hear this term as well when couponing period. So a filler item is a free or a cheap item that we can throw in with our deals. Now with Dollar General five off of 25s, you'll hear this. And so we usually like to have a coupon to pair along with the item to make the item free. But not all the time do we have a coupon. So that's when we look for a cheap piece of candy that's 35 cents, maybe a bag of chips that is a dollar. So that is what filler items are. Let's talk about BOGO coupons or either a coupon that states you have to purchase a certain number of items and then you will get a certain amount off. Anytime that you see these coupons and you're using them at Dollar General, there is a certain way you have to scan them. 
um, you have to scan them. Let's say the Dove coupon. You have to pick up two Dove, have the cashier scan two Dove, and then scan the coupon. Or if you're doing a buy one, get one free, the cashier needs to scan both items and then scan the coupon. You are scanning the items that way, so that way you ain't got no issues at the cash register. 99% of the time, the way Dollar General system is set up, it is not going to take um, your coupon if you don't scan it in that particular order. Or even like the degree coupon, you pick up two degree or two Dove deodorants, scan them and then have the cashier scan the coupon. This also applies even if you are using a five off of 25 on Saturdays. I promise you your five off of 25 coupon will still come off because Dollar General system is still reading the amount that you purchase okay so i hope i explained that well enough for you guys to be able to understand when you are using uh these types of coupons the bogo coupons or you know the buy three uh, i'm sorry buy two get three dollars off or buy two get four dollars off because they come in all shapes and form and this is mostly catered towards paper coupons and also internet printables now let me show you in store so you can have a visual of how this looks okay coupon cousins so here is an example i picked up two of the febreze and i am using the bogo coupon buy one get one free and as you see the cashier scanned both and then she scanned the coupon so let's look at my receipt so after that i paid three dollars of course because the coupon states buy one get one free just keep in mind when you are using bogo coupons or coupons that state you have to purchase a certain number of items and then you get a certain amount off to always scan the number of items required and then scan your coupon that way y'all we can minimize our issues that we have at the register Dollar General now has a new feature, which is called DG Pickup, which means you can go online and order your stuff and just pick it up in the store. But they do not accept EBT as of yet. So, of course, you can only use your debit card or credit card. So, y'all let me know if y'all have the new DG Pickup in your local stores. All right, y'all. So, you have made it to the end of the video. Last but not least... Keep in mind that Dollar General does offer early activation. That is right. What that means is that they act. Sorry about that coupon cousins, my camera died. So we were talking about early activation. Early activation is when Dollar General activates the Sunday's ad for the upcoming week on Saturdays at 7 p.m. So sometimes you wonder why you go in the store and you don't have nothing. That's because some of my cousins done already be done hit them up on Saturday nights. Now you can find the early ads on sites like the couponingcouple.com. And then I even have some of my coupon cousins. They post the ads on their Instagram pages and even on Facebook facebook so that way you can prep yourselves if you want to go into dollar general on saturday nights instead of waiting until sunday well coupon cousins that is all that i have talking about good old dg i thank you guys for always liking watching sharing and subscribing and until next time coupon cousins holla back y'all